welcome back to Tradie Talk with Kylie. Today I'm joined by Caden from KD Electrical. Thanks for joining us today, Caden. No worries, Kylie. So you have recently had a little baby girl. I have. My nights have become sleepless, but I have. <laughs> so when we're not calling you for emergencies, you're actually getting woken by a baby. That is correct. You're still enjoying it though? Oh, I am. I am. Excellent. So you do really well with juggling, uh, you know, what is quite new, um, a new baby with what you do. Um, how long have you been in business for? My business that I've started um, has been going for a bit over 18 months now, uh, which has been very full on, a uh, very busy time. As for being a tradie, yeah, the last 10 years I've been an electrician. So lots of experience, but now it's finally yours. That's right. Yeah, there's um, the rewards there to go out and get the work done and, and be rewarded for it. Well, I know that our clients have been really, really happy. Um, lots of them say how lovely you are. A uh, few said how cute you are. Um, but, you know, we, we certainly love how responsive you are to, to what we need um, doing. What's, what's probably the most uh, common call that you get for, you know, help, I need an electrician? Obviously, uh, no power. Um, it seems to be pretty important. So that's, that's something that is very common when the power's out is when I need to get there as soon as possible and, and see what's going on. So lots of weekend work for you then? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and speaking of no power, I understand that you've got a couple of top tips for us. So if you're ready, let's move on to those. My first tip that I have uh, is to do with the tripping of the safety switch. Uh, it's quite a common occurrence that that'll be one of the main things that will happen in a rental position that your power will go out at some point and you'll want to know how to reset it without having to call an electrician. First thing you should do when you move into your rental property is know where your switchboard is, understand where the safety switch is in it and that's what you're looking for if the power does go out. When you find that the safety switch has tripped, you want to go to all your appliances that you have plugged in throughout the house that are, that are plugged into the wall and physically unplug them. So this is things, your toasters, your kettles, your dishwasher, open the sink up and unplug your dishwasher, um, your range hood. If you're living out of town and you have a treatment system, go outside and unplug your treatment system. If once you've gone around and unplugged everything, then go back to your switchboard and try and reset that safety switch. In the case it resets and it, and it holds, you'll be able to then go back and plug everything in individually and what should usually happen is that the last item you plug in when it trips is the item that's causing it to trip in the first place. If you leave that item unplugged and then plug the rest of your appliances back in, you, you should find that that's your problem. If you go through this process and it doesn't reset and it keeps tripping, notify your electrician because it could be something a little bit more serious like a, a damaged cable or something that's hardwired that could be causing the problem. Tip number two is, is know your smoke alarms when you move into your rental property. Uh, every smoke alarm sometimes have a di different mounting point. Um, some of them will slide off the base that they're mounted to, some of them will clip down. The reason you want to know this is because generally when they go off it'll be in the middle of the night, it'll be loud, you'll be worried. And if there's no smoke around and it's, it's going off for no reason, you want to be able to, to stop the noise and get back to sleep. So first thing is, is know how to unclip the smoke alarm to take it down from the ceiling without hitting it with a broom and, and breaking it, which will then obviously um, come back to costing you money as a tenant. So if you figure that out first, then once you've got the smoke alarm pulled down from the ceiling, you want to remove the battery inside it because that battery will will keep, keep it going. So if you remove the battery, it'll kill the smoke alarm for the night, you can get back to sleep, but make sure you, you go and notify the real estate in the morning because that's something that'll have to be repaired and functional again straight away so your, your rental property is up to spec and, and you're safe as renters from any fires. 